Hi you guys. Okay, so today I'm here with a little um, Dollar Tree haul for you guys, but at the same time it's kind of a back to school thing. Um, I am constantly hearing from people, I'm in college, um, and I'm constantly hearing from people that they can't afford um, what's needed as far as school supplies are concerned. And I'm, I constantly am seeing people with binders that are all ripped up and people are constantly borrowing pens because they claim that they can't afford pens and and basic school supplies and here's the thing i understand that times are tough i mean my father just lost his job um a couple months back you know and it's not like i come from a wealthy family or anything like that but school supplies don't have to be expensive um you don't just have to go to an office supply store to get them there are places like Target and Walmart and Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store that you can get school supplies from and I'm not trying to be judgmental of people that really cannot afford it but I basically I put together an entire binder kit for under $20 from the Dollar Tree and it's mostly everything that you need there's only two things that I didn't get that I could see somebody in high school or college really truly needing as far as school supplies are concerned. One is a USB stick. Um, and I know that quite a few places have them on sale right now. Like I think you can get an eight gigabyte at Staples for $4.99. Um, and the other one was a scientific calculator. Now I have, um, a, I have my own graphing calculator just because I was in um, stats in high school so I already have a very sophisticated calculator so I don't need to buy another calculator um, the things that I bought are actually things that I'm gonna use and some of it I am gonna donate to um, the local elementary school just because there's some things that I'm just like I didn't necessarily need this but it was good for the video um, but then there's other things that, yeah, I'll definitely use in my personal school life, as well as my brother. Um, I have a 16-year-old brother. He's going to be a junior this year. So um, I just wanted to share with you guys that $20 can actually go a long way. You know, I understand that some people may not have $20 to spare, um, and that's fine. But, you know... $20 can go a long way. Um, so this is, I'm going to show you guys what I got from the Dollar Tree. Now, some of these items, um, I actually did see cheaper elsewhere. I saw cheaper at Target and Walmart. Um, and then other things I saw for way more expensive at places like Target and Walmart. It was just easier for me to get everything all at one place across the board. So um, I actually got two bags full of stuff from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you guys what I got for $20. So the first thing that I picked up that's probably one of the most important items is a binder. Now, this is a hard binder. Um, I know a lot of Dollar Trees and 99 cent stores sell like the flimsy cover, like the poly covers. Um, and so does mine, but mine also had the hard cover. And these also have the pockets inside of it, which, you know, it's it's nice to have the ones with pockets for when you have a professor or a teacher that doesn't punch holes in their um, papers and you just need to stick it in and go. You know, most classrooms have hole punches that you can borrow. You don't need to go out and buy a hole punch um, if you don't want to. Hole punches are actually kind of expensive. They're about 25 bucks. But, I mean, you can borrow a hole punch from a teacher or a professor. They, they don't have any kind of problems with that. But if you're, like, on the run and you just you have to go and you have to get to your next class, you can just slip it into the pocket, which is super convenient. Now, this is only a one-inch binder, so you can't fit a lot in this. Um, but it will do, you know, if you just need to get by for a minute. And all you can do is afford one binder because you can take out old notes and old papers and leave them at home and bring them back in as you need them because you're not going to need chances are really good that the, the article that your professor gave you your first week you're not going to need two weeks later you're probably only going to need it for that one class or to do your homework assignment so 
I just picked up this one inch binder and it's black and it's plain. They had black, green, red, and I think that's it. They only have black, green, and red. And I liked black the best. And I will show you why here in just a second. I also picked up this two pack of folders and I made mine my set kind of girly um, just because I am very girly. Um, and I like these folders because they're not the paper folders. They're actually the nice shiny plastic ones, like the five star ones that are normally like a dollar fifty for one. And it has the nice double pockets, you know, and it comes out all as one, but it has the nice double pockets. Plus it is three hole punched. It has these holes that punch out, which I don't I'm not gonna do right now, but it, it is three hole punch, so you could actually put it in your binder if you wanted to. So two pack of these a dollar. So that's two dollars that we've spent the next thing I picked up pencil pouch you know um, it is three rings so you can stick it in your binder or you can just stick it in your bag um, it has two nice zipper compartments one larger one for you to fit all of your pencils in and then a smaller one for you to put things like your sticky notes and tabs in and things like that and the zippers work pretty decent on these and it's nice fabric um, and the holes have the um, grommets, grommets in them so they're not gonna it's not gonna rip so that's three the next thing I picked up is it's a planner it looks like this because it's actually a magnetic planner um, However, you don't have to use this as a magnetic planner. What I found at the Dollar Tree was most of the planners that they had were for 2014 only. Well, school years start in August, September, so you need something that starts in August or September of 2013. What I like about this one is it doesn't have dates on it. It just has Monday through Saturday, through Sunday, Monday through Sunday on it, and you can write down your weekly assignment. And, you know, this has pockets in it. There you go. You have a planner so you can keep track of all of your assignments. Perfect, right? Or if, you know, you get creative, you can probably glue it into the front of your binder and it's going to be there. Perfect. So that's $4 spent now. Next thing I picked up was these sticky notes. I think post-it notes are, I, I use post-it notes constantly for my textbooks and, and for my personal notes. There's 400 in this pack. They're the mini size. So that's 100 of each color for a dollar. The next thing I picked up, I found these in the home goods section, is these wall decals. And I actually got these so you can decorate your plain binder. I'm probably just going to stick my initial in, in the middle of this and make it pretty might not necessarily be a necessity you know you can do without it if if you would like but you know I just thought it was kind of neat um, the next thing I picked up was this ream of 150 pieces of college ruled filler paper it's hard to find college ruled you mostly find wide ruled so I picked up this you can find this cheaper I saw it for 82 cents at Target and Walmart but it was there so I grabbed it Next thing I picked up was a composition notebook. Sometimes your math teachers or your science teachers require you to have a composition notebook. They did have the old school black and white one, but I wanted something a little bit more decorated, so I got the owl. Again, a dollar, and it has nice lines inside of it. They're nice and clear and dark, so, you know, you can actually keep your stuff stays nice and neat. I picked up some tabs for your binder so you can actually divide up your binder and these aren't paper ones they're actually the poly um, style so they're plastic so they're a little bit more flexible and they'll last a little bit longer and they're not going to rip I picked this um, binder pouch up um, I like to keep my schedule and my um, list of assignments in, pa in pouches like this when my professor gives me the syllabus and it's a zipper so that's nice and it can go you know in your binder it's hole punched I picked up this four pack of decorative mechanical pencils again dollar everything's a dollar this mini stapler with 500 staples 
a pack of 75 index cards, and they're in neon colors. There's um, hot pink, orange, yellow, green, and more hot pink. So always good to have on hand. Makes it easier for studying. Makes it easier for giving speeches. I've picked up this notebook. This is just a regular um, one subject notebook. And I believe, yeah, this one is wide ruled. Um, I couldn't find any college ruled in this, but it has the poly cover to it and the pages are perforated. So they're easy to rip out and it's not gonna leave that yuckiness on the edge of your page. To me, this was actually the best find. This is a three subject black notebook, 120 pieces of paper already in notebook bound for you for a dollar and the edges are perforated so it makes for easy um, taking out again and then it just has um, a piece of paper to divide the subjects with like a bright colored piece of paper but you can actually take your sticky notes stick them in there and write on the corner like what um, subject it is so you know what what section is for what class. I picked up this decorative tape in polka dot and striped again to decorate some of the plain black stuff the binder and the notebook. I like my stuff to be pretty. This isn't necessarily a necessity and if you if you don't want it then don't buy it. That simple. And I bought this pack of highlighters here. There's three colors. There's yellow, pink, and blue, and they match just about everything that I've got here. And then the last thing I picked up, sorry, was this pack of Bic Crystal um, pins. And it, these are the multicolored ones for bold writing. And there is still, there's two blacks, a green, two blues, a baby blue, a neon green, a purple, a pink, and a red. So, and it's Bic, so you know that they're going to be decent because it's Bic. It's a name brand product. So, all of this, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So for $18, you could, in essence, put together an entire binder. Now, if, you know, say you don't have $20 and you only have $15, you know, there are some things that you can definitely easily do without. Take away the stickers, take away the extra zippered pouch, take away, you know, um, the fancy colored tape. Okay, that's $15. Say you only have $10 to spend, take away one of the notebooks. Um, take away the sticky notes. You don't necessarily need them. Um, take away the index cards. You could actually probably do away with the folders just because this has the pockets in the front of it. So, I mean, really, you can put together a whole binder for really inexpensive. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So, I don't know, take away the stapler and take away the composition notebook because it's not necessarily a necessity. There you go. You know, you, $10 gets you a full binder of stuff. So, you know, just work with what you've got. There's, there are places out there that make it easy for you to be able to, you know, shop inexpensively. You don't have to spend a fortune on school supplies. There are other outlets now. So, you know, if you're having issues, um, coming up with the money or you're going places saying, gosh, this is just way too expensive. I can't afford all these, you know, new school supplies on top of books and whatnot. You can. You really can. You can afford some Bic pens. You can afford a new binder that's not being held together by silver duct tape. You know, duct tape is cool, but 
come on, you're in college now. So that's my advice for today as far as Dollar Tree is concerned. Um, I also went to a couple of other places and I'm going to be also putting together a Walmart haul for under $20 school supplies for $20 and under. So yeah, I hope that this helped out some of you guys. If you guys have any questions for me, just leave it in the comments below and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.